Hello everyone. I want to do a shout out to one of my very favorite YouTubers. Her name is Babylon K. She's beautiful, she has magnificent hair, and she has great hair growing tips. Today I'm going to be showing some of the products that I collected in search of a deep conditioner that I can commit to. And the first one is this was introduced to me by Babylon K and this is a conditioner applicator bottom. But you don't have to use conditioner. It says that you can use hair color, uh, conditioning growth oil, medicated shampoo, and scalp, can, scalp conditioner. So it's a bottle with a comb attachment and the comb teeth has little holes in it so that you can apply your your um, growth oil or whatever you want to put in there right here without even parting your hair. So I thought that would be nice to have. Second up is a t-shirt type of a turban that you can use to dry your hair because everybody knows now on YouTube that uh, t-shirts are more gentle to your hair so that you can dry it safely without drying your hair out and without uh, tugging on your hair. So this is from the website Bon Bon Chevaux B-O-N B-O-N C-H-E-V-E-A-U So she also introduced me to this and I thought this was great to have because of all the talk about um, drying your hair with a t-shirt and I really didn't want to use a t-shirt so I was thinking why doesn't somebody just make a t-shirt towel and then right about that time she showed these and so I was really happy to be able to get this onward to the conditioners that I have been um, collecting I'm trying to find something that I can commit to and I think I found what I really want but just to show you what I collected um, I got these Shaylicious conditioners and I used one of these and I guess it was okay but it really wasn't enough conditioner to to go throughout my whole head. It was almost enough but not quite and this was about five dollars for one so what it is is conditioner on one side and then oil on the other where you just tip it over and put the oil inside your conditioner and mix it up. I thought it was a lot of fun and it was cute and everything but it wasn't quite enough conditioner to go throughout my whole head so I would have to use two for one application. So that was that was one thing. The next thing that I got was a tea tree conditioner from Hollywood Beauty tea tree cholesterol conditioner. I've used this one one time and I like it. I like it quite a lot. I like the ingredients that are in it and I think that I'm gonna I might use this one as a I might commit to this one but I'm not sure because another one that I got was this one from Lusters and uh, this one is called Botanical Soft Curls Curling Cream. So, I really like this conditioner a lot. I mean, uh, it, actually, this is a, uh, I use it for more for a moisturizer. They are calling it a, a curling cream. And it smells very nice, softly nice. And I like it a lot. It's really, really silky and smooth and creamy on my hair. I think I'm going to use, I mean, I, I am definitely going to be using this as, um, I'm going to commit to this as a moisturizer and a curl cream. Um, and, and I did like this one so much so that I decided to try their conditioner. I haven't tried, I bought it, but I haven't tried it yet. And this one is called Botanical Mayonnaise Conditioner. And this conditioner, uh, it looks very creamy and it looks a little oily, but I haven't tried it yet. 
But the thing is, if this works as well for my hair as this condition as this moisturizer, then I will commit to this because I just like this one so much. But sometimes if you like one product from the line, it doesn't mean that I'm going to like the other product as well. And this one smells softly pleasant. And these go for like $10, $9.49 each. So plus your tax. So I was thinking, first I didn't know, I was like, who is Luster's? And then I remembered Luster's is the one who makes the S Curl spray. And I really like the S Curl spray, so I thought maybe I would like it, and I did. And then the next thing I got was, um, this one is, is uh, I just kind of got this one for fun because the price was really right, and the bottle is very pretty. This one is Herbal Essences Cleansing Conditioner color me happy and it's supposed to be nice for colored hair fights fade out so of course I have my dyed hair and so I love the bottle and again the price was right so I said if I don't really like it I could always use this pump bottle for my favorite which is beautiful textures uh, tangle taming leave-in conditioner now I have committed to this one because it's very silky on my hair this Tangle Taming Conditioner. Very, very silky on my hair. Very nice to have. So, this doesn't come in a pump. So, I decided if I, I'm going to, once I finish with this conditioner or this co-wash, I'm going to use it, this bottle, to put my, my leave-in inside of it. Okay, this one, I don't love the way this one smells because it smells sort of like roses, which I already know I don't really care for roses. But it reminded me of the long-term condition, I mean long-term relationship conditioner that I used to love so well, which has been discontinued. So I got it in spite of it smelling like roses. Actually, it's it's pretty it's actually a pleasant scent even though I don't like roses but I would get the other uh, scent if I ever bought this again I would get the other scent which is I think something like clean something clean that comes in a white bottle I like the scent of the other one better <clears throat> excuse me but I, I at the time I didn't see that one I just grabbed this one I was in a hurry so I just got this one so that pretty much wraps up the conditioners that I picked up that I think I'm I'm gonna if I can, I'm gonna commit to either this one or if I don't love this one I'm gonna commit to this one because I have to commit to something and I just I just never have committed to anything so now I'm gonna do that and then on one last thing I wanted to show you guys is a cologne that I got and I got this cologne from fragrancenet.com and I had been eyeballing this not eyeballing but I tried it one time when we were in Las Vegas I sniffed it I loved it I didn't get it at the time but I always thought I'm gonna get me some of that one day and so it was from fragrancenet.com they have good prices and excellent customer service so I went ahead and I got truth or dare by Madonna Truth or Dare by Madonna. And I am so pleased. Okay, let me show you the bottle. I thought the bottle was very pretty. And I love the way they put the top on this bottle because the top reminds me of... A crown. Isn't that beautiful? It reminds me of a crown. And the bottle is so beautiful, it reminded me of royalty. So, I was so pleased when I got it. And I love the scent of it. I love the beauty of the bottle. And I just think it's gorgeous. And I think it's just elegant and royal. So... That's it for my collection for the day, and I thank you for clicking in, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.